Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk today about kind of some scriptures for the day the Lord gave me in prayer. Um, 2 Corinthians 2, 17, and then he gave me 3, 18, 4, 18, 5, 18, and 6, 18. So it's like, okay, so I'm, did I just read them and then let you guys, you know, interpret them how you want to interpret them? So... For we are not as as so many peddling the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. 3.18 But we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. 4, 18. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Five. Five eighteen. Now that all the things are of God, who reconciled us to Himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. And then um, six eighteen. I will be a father to you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. So, they're all pretty cool. Um, all scriptures are cool, but kind of all tying together. Um, it just kind of gives me something to soak in and then look at, kind of saturate my heart. Um, the other day, usually what I do in the morning time is I pray first, um, and then... I get it and find my word, my Bible, and I sit down at the kitchen table generally because that's just kind of where I like to sit, um, where I'm sitting now. And I get my Bible out and I pray. And the other day, um, I was praying and the Lord spoke to me and it was it was out of John um, 15. But he spoke to me and he said, and I was praying, he said, pray just like it's a me you do it for your before your meals, because I'm the bread of life. This word is your bread of life. It's like, okay, God. So that's what I did. So anyhow, um, I've been getting a lot of scriptures, uh, just sometimes in dreams, sometimes in prayer. Um, so I'm kind of like I'm just gonna share them, get them out there. Uh, got some other messages I want to put out this week that the Lord's been kind of dealing with me about. Tune into my other ones, uh, please. Comments, you know, likes, dislikes. Uh, you can email me directly at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com or just go through, you know, the YouTube channel. Um, I've got one book out there now called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. You know, all you got to do is email me. I'll send you a free copy. I promise I won't misuse your email or send you anything else or ask for anything or nothing i'll probably you know i'll just get rid of it after i send you the copy that's all I, you know just send me your address free book you you know you like it want to send me you know something for for the book that's fine great but or you can go on amazon um it's available on amazon um for 15 bucks So, but there's another one that's coming out in February, so you can send me your email for that too if you want. I mean, same email, I'll send you a copy. Uh, for a while, I'm just going to kind of pump them out there for free until the Lord tells me differently. Um, and that one is Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory, and how we're his glory, and we have a story. And a lot of the saints... And the people of God are feeling like they don't have a voice, but we're his voice. 
Read Psalms 29. I, I, I got that one in prayer too. And it's about the voice of the Lord. But he said, we're his voice. We have a story. And God wants us to get it out there. So whether you're the doorkeeper at the church or the senior pastor, read Matthew 7, I mean, uh, Matthew 20. Talks all about the equality, how God sees us. We're all the same. So what's God telling you, showing you, teaching you? You know, if, if he wants you to have, if minister on YouTube or whatever or to others, let's get it out there, guys. It's just time to be his voice, his glory. Stand up for what's right in the seemingly tumultuous world that we're living in. God still has a purpose and a plan. And he's large and in charge. So, anyhow, um, we love you guys. Uh, and God bless you. I uh, will talk to you real soon.